ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to Michael B. It's his first time here on the stream, and it's, uh, it's also conveniently his birthday. This isn't even a good joke. So if you guys you. Uh, can wish Michael B. a happy birthday in the chat or in the in the comments. M -m 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 metal worker. I think Michael B. would really appreciate it because he doesn't. I wouldn't. He doesn't I, actually. Uh, he doesn't have a ton of friends, right? So when it is his birthday, he doesn't get a lot of people telling him happy birthday. So. If you guys could just show some love and, and just wish Michael be a happy birthday, I, I think he I think it would mean the world to him. It's so painful being here. I don't know why I do it anymore. Happy birthday, Michael B. Happy birthday, Michael. You wanna take Metal Worker? Yeah. It's your birthday, man. I'll take whatever you want. You wanna take Metal Worker? <laughs> I think it's the strongest card in the pack. Oh, it's a Metal Worker Michael B birthday blast. What are you looking for? My glasses. I'm looking for my glasses. I didn't realize after midnight. Happy birthday, Mike B. <laughs> Ooh, Grim. Oh, that's a basalt model. That's the wrong model. That's still a good one. Probably better than Winter Orb because Winter Orb can suck my ass. <laughs> Winter Gorb's good in this kind of Winter deck, Gorb? Though. Winter Gorb, yeah. You play a Winter Orb and you just use your Metal Worker. Winter Gorb and Metal Worker. Mm. Mm. Michael, why didn't you tell people it was your birthday today? Because it's not. He just gets so shy about it. It's actually hilarious. He's always like, it's why not my birthday. I don't understand why this just is Just don't do It's not my birthday. You don't have to do anything Such special for meme. Michael B. And I'm like, dude, it's fine. Not people don't mind telling. Like, people don't mind wishing you have a birthday. Like, just let people wish you a happy birthday on your birthday, man. It's not a big deal. I don't know why you would make it get to this. my birthday every day. Is it? Apparently. That is weird. What's uh what are we taking here, man? Brain freeze? Lion's eye? Oblivion Stono? Control magic? Brain freeze? Oh shit, I took that. Did you see me taking it? No, I blacked out. Thoughts on that channel fireball draft set Lumiri? I have no idea what you just said. I have no idea what any of those words mean in that order. Sixty nine happy birthday bits, Michael. That's the dirty number. Did you know that? Why? Because when a man and a woman I love each other... thought it was a other, nice number. It is nice, I guess. Is it Ulmog? Yeah. Is it Ulmog? What are you do with your mana? What are you going to do with your... Bananas? Where are you I'm dialing tape to the wall and from get a walkie for it. You're going to what? I'm going to tape it to the wall and get 120000 for it. Wow, that's impressive. You don't know about that? Yes, I do know about okay. that. That's an interesting photo. <laughs> Gonna do... Florida. Oh, uh, really? Is it Urza or is it Karn? I think it is Urza, actually. It's a new draft set CFB is selling from existing magic cards? Interesting. I hadn't even heard of that. I guess it's just repeal, because it's... If we have a Mox, it just draws us a card. Oh, Ancestral Vision. Not the not the, not the the Ancestral we want, but it's the Ancestral we probably deserve. <laughs> Boros Signet. Boros it is. Oh, Card Kingdom. Interesting, interesting. I still don't think I know. Oh, Walking Ballista seems great here. Are you looking at something? Are you okay? Thank you. Got a funny meme? Is it Kerwick? Because Kerwick's Kerwick always response. funny. Zebedee, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it, my dude. Oh, do the content on YouTube. Need to stomp in on the resub show. For if I let me ask you something, guys, in the comments or in the chat, let me know. YouTube actually has a like membership, like a premium, like not like. Is it Tezzeret or is it Walking Blister? Right. Either's fine. All right. Um, but YouTube has like a subscriber thing where you can actually have little tiers. And I was wondering if I had this on YouTube, like a subscriber service for like three dollars or five dollars or whatever. If you guys. If that's something you'd be interested in in subscribing to. 
because I don't know what the reception would be to that. Wow, that's a late brain freeze that I'll just take. Maybe we can storm him out. Oh, Goblin Wilder came back? Oh, uh, no, YouTube has its own thing. I literally had a conversation with someone from YouTube, like uh, an actual phone conversation. They wanted to call me up and see if I would be interested because my channel like uh, was a good candidate for it. And she told me how to do it. And I was like, okay. But now I'm on the run. Oh, lay those fingers down, Mike. Lay those fingers down. Finger packing, Mike B. Man of all seems good. Dirt, yeah. dirt, 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 dirt. Is there any creature that can untap artifacts? Shut up and take my money. What happened? Happy birthday, Michael B. S. Corbett, thank you so much for the birthday bucks. God, Michael B. Everyone loves, everyone loves a good Michael B. Earth Day, if you know what I mean. The, the B stands for birthday. My dude. You either take soapstone or cryptic. I think it's cryptic here. We can get one of these again. How old is Mike B? Mike B is timeless. Mana drain? Well, fudge me. I'm going to take mana drain. That's basic. Okay. That's power light, my dude. Need more payouts. We got walking blister and Ulamog. We also have Urza. We can just pump a bunch of mana into Urza. Upheaval's a good one. That's a good payoff. That's what daddy likes. Who's who's daddy? Me. But if he has a lot of birth... It's a, yeah, okay, so... Do I have my own paper cube? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. You can actually go to... It hasn't been updated for a few sets. Like, I think, like, two sets or so. Maybe more than that. Try oh. to keep up with that. It really is. Especially if you're not drafting it regularly. Huh? Pistol back in Moochel. Lay that Moochel down. Burr, 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 burr. Wow, Grim Monolith? Holy shit. Wow. We are getting all of the mana ramps. I like this. This is the third fraction identity we've passed. But I don't think. Like, now we have Mana Vault, Monolith, and Grim Monolith. Tri double Monolith. What did you base your paper cube off of? Uh, my paper cube is loosely based off of the vintage, the vintage cube, actually. Um, however, I took most of the storm components out because I don't like them. And I think in a cube, like, when I want to just... I kind of... There's powerful combos in the cube, obviously, because it's the vintage cube. But, like, I don't like Storm because a lot of the cards only go into the Storm deck. Like, if you have a Pyretic Ritual, it only goes into the Storm deck. Like, So, like, there's the Storm archetype actually has, like, 40 cards in the cube that are only good in Storm. So, like... If you want to cut redundant cards out, you can actually cut Storm out of the cube and, like, you, you, you free up a bunch of slots. Obviously, some people like Storm, but I wanted to cut my cube down to 360 or 340. 360, I believe. Which means every cube, every card gets drafted when you draft it. Are you okay? Mm hmm Are you just exhausted from your birthday, birthday fun? Yeah, that's it. Oh. It's a meal. Mueller? A mere battles for your... Here's a Mueller. A Mueller. Mueller. I also don't mind Plateau, but we'll take Battle Sphere. Plateau for what? We're not white. Yeah, but we're red. So isn't a mound just the same thing? <laughs> I took your stupid card, okay? Oh, Misha's Workshop and Phyrexian Metamorph. Shop seems insane for us. It does it. We can't cast any of these guys off of it. Yeah, because it's like turn one grim model. You can't stuff. cast Ulamog off of it. It's true. Can't play a turn one metal worker though, right? I mean, I would definitely be down to draft in paper, but like, it's a matter of getting eight people together. It's either Metamorph or Misha's Workshop. You guys think it's Shop over Metamorph? Metamorph just copying like metal worker, then make thirty mana and play upheaval. Copying metal worker doesn't really. It does. I guess it's okay. You get double real. All right, man. We'll do it. I have six. David, do you actually have six kids? Because that's insane and hilarious if that's true. No, it's not going to come back. We only There's only, what, how many cards are in that pack? One card from that pack will come back. Yeah, it's not coming back. 
Maybe. I don't know if anything is good in this pack. Bulbite Curry is an artifact and it's a red card, so. Play Mutual. We're colorless enough. No, we got Cryptic Command in our deck, bro. I think your content and your streaming YouTube are the best that there is. I would support you with premium subs and Patreon stuff if I could. It's a little expensive for me due to being, uh, due to the dollar being almost five times my low. Yikes. Yeah, Mark, don't worry about it, man. I appreciate your I appreciate your comments and I appreciate your your in stream support, man. I really, really do. Let's take opposition for the hell of it, for the lols. I did it for the lols. Golgari signet. I got five on it. Can't believe that came back. Hmm. Can take it. Maybe we'll have two combos in our deck. I don't know how opposition went around that late either. I also don't think I know how Grim Monolith went around that lady there, so... Oh, Crucible. That? Porcelain Engineer or Crucible? They're both artifacts. Probably Crucible. I think Crucible's better if we get, like, Strip Mine. Wow. I'll just take Glorbringer. What the hell? Can't even play it. Well, I got five on it, so... Inspector makes an artifact, but I have no desire to put white in this deck for that. Oh, Progenitus. Progenitus, if oh, we you got something we can show and tell. That's true. Last pick, show and tell into Progenitus is just... It's just perfect. Okeechobee. Lake Okeechobee. You ever... Oh, shit. You ever been to, like... What if you just, like, randomly cut the cord? That'd be hilarious, and it's just dangling. You ever been to Lake Okeechobee? I don't think so. You ever been to Camp Anawana? don't know where that is it's ne next to it's next to your dad's house <laughs> and you don't know where that is do you bucko boo, 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 boo. self got him i guess <laughs> what's the pick here mutual uh never cool is it we hmm? we got a lot of mana is it any good though Mind Slayer, bro. It's not an artifact. That's true. Take Greaves. I don't hate Greaves. I also like Ponder. Ponder's good. Take Chromox. Nah, we're kind of colored. Oh, like, I like bad. Ponder. Let's take but Greaves is going to come back. Probably. Yeah. <sighs> Fuck. Love yeah. it. Oh, that'll Academy. come back. No one's going to take Academy. We're taking Time Walk and then not okay. looking back. There you go. That's, that's a good one. That's a good one. Emery's good too, but our artifacts aren't going to go to the graveyard. This deck looks sweet so far. I hope it doesn't suck ass. <laughs> hey, oh, it doesn't suck ass. Was that a pick three? That was a pick two time walk. Our first pick was Ponder. Our second pick was time walk. And what a power level difference. Ponder and a time walk. I mean, they're both banned and modern. Am I right? <laughs> You're not right. They're also... What? Technically, time walk isn't banned. It's just not legal. He's right. You're technically correct, which is the best the best kind of right. <laughs> also, they're both restricted and vintage. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Look, time walk not banned. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go, you trolls. What is your opinion on Pioneer? Do you think it's a better? Mo I don't think it's a better modern. I think it's a different modern. Uh, I think I still think modern is great. Um, but yeah, I think it's good. I like it a lot. I'm gonna get this guy out of here because I don't think we have any any reason to to play red. Nah, that's for suckers and dummies. Did you say deaths for suckers and dummies? I said that. Death is for suckers and dummies. My name is Michael. I live in the garbage can. Ha <laughs> ha. I do <laughs> French that? accent. That slowly turned into a French accent. <laughs> this is really weird. You know, what should I do with this? Charging that thing, man. This oh, is the, the old one. one. What should oh. I do with the old one? Sell it. I don't yeah. actually know how you I don't can know sell if it. it. I don't know. Oh! Yeah, I don't know who wants to buy that, actually. I mean, like, I could put it on Craigslist for, like, ten bucks, which is better than it going in the trash can, I think. However, the problem is that I don't know if it actually still works. No, well, it's not looking good for this set of batteries. What is it, Thirst, or is it Brazen Bar? Brazen Bar. It's gotta be Thirst, thirst right? Good. Thirst seems great in this deck. Especially because we got five on it, so I think that's 
That's really helpful too. Wow, look at all that. Just making a trash pile over here, man. I am because I want to remember to get rid of these things. Memory jar, smokestack. I don't think we're any of those kind of decks. I don't think we are either. Jar might be decent. Yeah. We also do have brain freeze in the sideboard. Yeah, but we're not a brain freeze deck. Well, we can go upheaval and brain freeze in the same turn and just that could kill it. Sell it for crack. Hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. That escalated. Forge Master. Forge Master seems good. Oh, Barakar is also trash. You can get the fuck out of here. Baron Dynamo? Yeah, that's nice. All right. Well, this deck is coming together. Form Power Stone? Sure. We're just getting all of them. Wow, this is... And this is an easy... Crucible is an easy replace here because we did not get... And we got the Lightning Grease back. <laughs> well, we knew that. But here's the Talarian Academy is the next... Fuck yeah. Fudge, yeah, that's exactly what we wanted, my dudes. It's pretty good. Emery, sure. This is twenty-five cards. What are we cutting? Grim Monolith, Golgari Signet, Boros Signet, Mana. I think we cut zero artifacts. Except for I could cut Jar. I think repeal. We cut jar. We cut repeal. And Jar, done. This is our deck. Let me tell you something about this deck, Michael. Okay. I got five on it. Do you? I don't know. I actually, I don't know what it means. Smokestack? You can play that. Really? You don't want to play Jar, but you want to play Smokestack? Well, smokestack would make more sense. Why? Because it, like, denies them stuff. It denies us stuff, too. Yeah, but we got a we got an outlet for it. What what outlet do we have for it? Just, just look for it. You'll find it. Look for it. I'll find it. Just look for it. We don't fucking have it. He's just <laughs> making some shit up and he wants me to look for it. Actually, we can use Emery. We can abuse that because we can sacrifice an We artifact can use Emery. Why did you give me a Scottish accent? That's how you talk. No, it's not. Do you not know about it? Do you not know about your Scottish accent? Your Scottish accent? Scottish accent. Do you even have five on it, Michael? No. Fuck. I knew he didn't. Well, this deck builds itself pretty easily. You just put a Tellerian Academy and a Workshops in, and then a bunch of islands. <laughs> Look at this. 15? Done. All right. Slam it. Slam it and jam it. Oh, hold on. Cancel that. Cancel that order, as Marshall Sutcliffe would regularly say. I want to screenshot this bad boy so that I know exactly what artifacts I can search for with Kaldatha 4G boy. I'll let you know when you search. Right, but if I don't have anything good to get, I don't want to sacrifice three artifacts and be like, oh, I actually don't have any good thing good. What are you doing here? What are you doing? My, my con one concern is that we don't have enough win conditions, but... Yeah, Battle Sphere, Ugin. Control Magic. Ulamog, Control Magic. That's enough. Upheaval. Upheaval's good. Basically one condition. I think upheaval into like Ugin or Battle Sphere is pretty good. Can we do that? I think we can with this it's deck. a lot of mana. But we do have do a we even lot want of 17 lands? What well, do you want to play over it? Lightning Grease? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have 8 ramp cards. Definitely not Lightning Grease. I don't give a shit about that with 7 creatures. Maybe I do. I mean, putting on a uh, Battle Sphere is pretty good. Me the repeal. Or an Ulamog. Does it ever bother you that you got five on it? No. Okay. Is that something you try to go for? I just want you to stop saying. Well, you're the one who got it in my head, okay? No, you listen to the why song. Why do you why do you Don't blame, blame other people for your problems? You listen to the song, you didn't have to. Wow. I listened to it because it was in my head. Does that help you? No. I don't know if I like this hand, but like I don't think it's... It's pretty bad. I'll keep it. Why don't you tell me it's bad? I'm going to keep it. I have mild defiant disorder, Michael. Clearly. Sand is actual trash. Your academy is basically useless. That's what I say about you, Michael. Mr. T can be one count? Who's Mr. T? You know who Mr. T is? I know who he is in real life. I don't know who he is in this deck. Oh, shit. What a, what a biscuit. Mike, I did listen to it because you were pooping. If you were here, I wouldn't have had to put it on. But I had to fill the time. 
So I put five on it. You could have just started the draft. No, that's stupid. And I c- you want to play Monterey and you want to No, I so. couldn't too because I, I had to move the thing. I didn't feel like getting up just to move the stupid curtain. We could start without the curtain. It was literally a big old hole in the room. You could still do it. I didn't want to. That was my point. I'm telling you that I didn't want to do that. Okay, I'm just saying you could. No. Leave me alone. Give me a bunch of artifacts. Actually, that's fine. I don't want any of those lands and that Sigma's good. I'll have five on it next turn. You just wait. God. Um. Hey. You. you hate me? Yeah. That's rude. Uh, it is Wednesday, my dudes. And how do I get this? How do you, uh. What? How do you stop from getting it on lenses? You tape everything up. I use tape? Yeah, you use painter's tape, Michael. You know how tape works? They're not exactly white. They're kind of gray. Michael, that's white AF, my dude. Are you are you blind? In the camera, they seem white, but when I look at them like right here, they seem grayish. Cool story, my dude. Thanks, bro. Anytime, bro. Well, maybe if you had five on it, we wouldn't have this problem. Hey, do you have five on it for your birthday? <laughs> no. No, I don't. Nike is white AF. Mike. Huh. Do we have anything in this deck that like lets us... Is it just this guy? It might just be this guy. Because if we draw Ugin, we can play him next turn, so... You know... Whatever. Whatever, my dude. That's why I donated five. Five on it for his birthday. Exactly. This is what I'm saying. I got five on it. They're going to take two from this. That's pretty terrible. What if I mill them? Wouldn't that be great? That would be fantastic. I know what you meant. I was just making fun of you. Come on, Gamma Set. Get it together, my dude. Someone's got to troll you if Thwok's not here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Bobby Butters himself, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, God. I always get the wrong ones. Hello? Yes. That's not what I wanted to do. No, that's what I thought I would do. All right, Eugene. Walking ballista could be good. Did I do that? Yes. You remember Steve Urkel? Who that? I feel you, man. Well, uh, Steve Urkel. I went to college with Steve Burkle. Nice. He had five on it all the time. You know what I mean? No. Okay. No, that's fair. What's your favorite color, Michael? Purple. Is it? Yeah. I've never seen you own or or choose anything purple in your life. <laughs> well, you asked me a fair color. I told you. What were you want from me? I, I want it to be represented in your life in some aspect, some regard. You used to have a ring that was purple? You used to have a purple ring? Yeah. Well, it was a gold ring with purple. What happened? The Power Rangers disbanded? And no, then I sold it. The, well, you sold it? Yeah. What'd you get for it? Uh, 400 bucks or something. You sold a purple ring for $400? Well, it was a gold ring with an ameth- uh, amethyst stone. It was a big ring. I got a fat finger, so I got a, I got a fat. I, re- finger. I regret selling it, but at the time I needed it for. Wow, you really had fun for on bills. It, didn't you? I regret it a lot, but you know you had to do what you got to do. Wow, you had a four hundred dollar purple ring. No, it was actually worth like a like it. It was like a thousand dollar ring. Was it your wedding ring? <laughs> no, <laughs> it 
It was like it was it was te- it was technically a graduation. My ring. grandmother gave me that ring. It wasn't like a typical graduation ring though from those shitty companies. It was like an actual Thank made you. from a jeweler. Can we actually kill them if they don't if they don't block? The rat dead is pretty bad, wow. All the Michaels in the Grand Cafe. Michael B lives in the... <laughs> okay, they're like, well, I guess I didn't block, so I'll take 14 from Walking Ballista. Seems good, right? Yeah. Seth 9000, thanks so much. Oh, wait, that wasn't correct. I'm all the way down here. Hardest of core, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Frank Moochel and Q, my day is made. Can you give Moochel a smoochel from me? <laughs> no. That might take a, a much more sizable donation. You better be donating to me. No. I'm the one to no. Bear it. no, dude, I'm the one who has to put my lips on your cheek, I guess. And I'm the one who has to receive it. So it's who's the worst off? Me. I think it's me. Well. Okay, let's try to keep this time. Oh, you like this hand better? Yes. 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 My name is Mucho. But it's my birthday. <laughs> Got a party like it's my birthday. Would you give Mucho like, the kiss of life if I poison Mucho? Will I see it? <laughs> I mean, I don't think I have the power to give him that. So don't poison him in the hopes that I'll like somehow revive him. Question, does the poison taste like candy? Oh, Jesus. If you, What's your favorite Office character? Hmm. That's tough. It is. I agree with you. Toby? No <laughs> one's favorite Office character is Toby. Uh, oh, God. Are they going to counter this? I think it might be Dwight. Dwight is fantastic. I think Creed is too shallow of a character. Like, he's just not... Like, Pretty characters funny, like though. Creed and... Who's your least favorite off his character? I definitely know mine. I mean, I hate to say it because it's the running joke, but it, probably Toby. <laughs> My least favorite off his character is probably Kelly. Oh, Kelly. Yeah, that's a good one. She's kind of obnoxious. I think Mindy Kaling is great. I just don't like Kelly on The Office. Yeah, that's just the character. It's not her. Yeah. Oh, they don't have it. Look at this. We get to go Thran into Basalt Monolith. Holy Jesus. Holy Jesus. You can see his stripes, but you know he's still Jesus. You can see his stripes? <laughs> but what is he, a fucking tiger? <laughs> well, that's part of this, this song. You can see his stripes, but you know he's clean. You can see Jesus' stripes? Is he in prison? <laughs> if they don't kill one of these, they're just dead to Ulamog, right? Probably, yeah. And then we get the time walk. Okay, they're dead. Well, here we go. I put Pam as the best and Gabe as the worst. Oh, Gabe's, yeah. I can see Gabe being pretty bad. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I wish we had one more then we can go time walk Ulamog. Just, t- just Ulamog, man. I get greedy. Just eat the Mog. I get greedy. What do we kill, though? Probably two lands. I don't give a shit about Glenlander Archmage. Yeah, not right now. That doesn't mean they can counter our time walk. Okay. <laughs> Got me, I guess. No, they don't. They only have blue sources. Oh, yeah. Well, they might have an island. I think Pam is fantastic. I think Jim is fantastic. Uh, Andy? I think Andy is a great character until, like, the last... S- Did they just try to go for the throat or Willamog? I think so. Ah! <laughs> I'm like, nah, he's strong. All right, we won. There's a moment. There's a moment in one of the episodes. Yeah, our deck is sweet. Uh, I don't know if it's great, but it's sweet. And that's that's important. Oh, the Mog ain't got no throat. <laughs> There's a moment where it's, it's the episode where Kevin and Andy go to get their parking spots back because the... 
the the construction guys are parking in the parking spots and they have to walk like 10 minutes to get to work every day oh yeah so but there's like a scene and kevin is doing a, a talking head piece and he's like you know after me and my girlfriend broke up you know last week or last month or something you know it's and he gets really choked up and then he's like and then he just kind of smiles and he's like it's good to have a win and i'm like oh my god it's like the saddest kevin moment in the whole show because it's just like kevin being real for like this this moment but like you rarely see it oh i like this ponder into mana drain and we'll just keep this for like the turn five mirror battle sphere or sooner depending on what you mana drain oh god oh god Next we get turn three. This is gonna be a turn three battle. Uh, I spoke too soon. Well, they could not Her be stopped. Hero of Blade Hold. That actually be. Linvala. Not as bad. We actually have a chance of not dying. I don't even care about. It's pretty good. Okay, that's a turn two battle sphere, right? Three, four, five, six, seven. Oh wow, Jesus. <laughs> Where is your Jesus now? Yeah, exactly seven. Hmm. It can't activate its abilities, though. Who, the Battle Sphere? Yeah. Yes, I can. They're not. They're triggered abilities, not activated abilities. Oh. Do you subscribe to the theory that the awesome. accounting team was embezzling money? No, not even a little bit. Not the the, the reason and the reason I won't even humor a, a theory like that is there's two reasons. One is that you'll never know, right? Like that's just a fan theory that's never going to be like. There's no amount of information that can prove you're right or wrong. So people can just either think that or not. And two is that like they're all too. They're Kevin's, all too different. Kevin's too dumb. There's no way they coordinate with each other well enough to do that. Yeah, I don't think they actually talk to each other that much. And I don't think Dunder Mifflin would would be a company yeah, that. Yeah. Even. Also, Angela would. That's that's against her moral code. She wouldn't do that. She's too. too you know, pure or whatever you want to call it. All the battles. Don't, don't manatide me, bro. Oh, oh, that would be gross. But next as time we get to queue up manager, I'd also be like, good for you. Good for You know what? Good for you. Oh, yeah. When Kevin drops the chili, it's heartbreaking, dude. That scene's so iconic, but yet it's only like a, a small scene. It's literally the opening so, scene, yeah. Yeah. Everyone gets to know each other in the pot. Oh, wow. This is... We can go Power Stone and Signet next turn into like upheaval eventually. This seems good for us. I'm no expert, but is this active? Oh, God, I so here's the thing. I have this weird thing where I wish Misha's Workshop also worked for activated abilities of artifacts, but then in my head I'm like, it doesn't need to do anything else because it's, it's already, already busted. So let's use this for this, and then we have this, and then we have one, two, three. One, two, three, four mana. So I guess we can just play this. Oh, yeah, this is what I was going to do. I was going to keep a blue up so we can go Worn Power Stone and also Suspend Vision. So next time we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight artifact mana. Take a walking blizzard for four. Yeah, which actually kills Linvala if we want to. Or we can up people, right? No, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we can up people too. We wouldn't be able to float anything. No, we can float three artifact mana. Oh, that's actually insane. Float three, one, two, three, four, five, six, upheaval, float three, play mana vault, signet, worn power stone. I don't know if that's just better than just killing them next turn with battle sphere, but. No, you gotta see what happens. shit what y'all think of the big bang theory i like the episode where the show got canceled yeah me too i do not like that show at all i think big bang theory is actually it's it's not well written it is a poorly written show 
I've never seen it. I've tried to watch that show like three or four times. And every it's just time, not funny. It was not thing. funny, right? Yeah, I, it's just... No laughs, nothing. If there's no perfect. laugh track, you don't know where to laugh. You're Even like, with the laugh track, it still didn't do anything for me. Right, but the laugh track at least tells you like, hey, this was a joke. This was supposed to be funny. Oh, okay, sure. Oh, wow. You can just cryptic command their team and kill them, right? That seems good. Uh, tap all creatures your opponent control. Draw a card. Doesn't matter. I'll return and tap. We won that game. You have to check out these no laugh track edits from Big Bang Theory. Oh, they're cringy. They're so cringy, dude. I've never watched one of those. You really don't know where the joke is supposed to be. Because it's just like them talking, and they're like, as characters without a laugh track, they're just unfunny people. And the only time you can tell where there might be a laugh is when they pause and not say anything, maybe. Here, have you ever seen these? No, I have not. It's so cringe. Here's 155. I don't know if I want to get demonetized for it, though. Yeah. Well, we could just watch it after the stream. Or in between. Oh, actually, hold on. I'll pause the recording for two seconds, and then we'll play it. All right. Uh, do we keep this hand? One one power stone? No. You said yes? No. Okay. <laughs> Why don't I even talk to you? God. It isn't for you. Well, okay, that's fine. I mean, that, that, yeah, but that's what I'm explaining. I'm explaining why I don't enjoy it. Right? Like. What'd you say? No. No. They went to five? And you want to keep this hand? They put five on it, my dude. I mean, if you like it, you like it. I just feel like it's it's got a lot of jokes that are like, this is about nerd stuff, so it automatically makes it funny. Right. I feel like a lot of their jokes are based on exploiting nerd culture. And they're like, we're going to take advantage of how funny it is to be a nerd and how aggressively nerdy these guys are. And that's the punchline. And that's just not funny to me. Like, it's also... You're explaining why people should... I Was I? I don't think I was doing that. Oh, wow. That's... Well, that sums up the show really well. Oh, my God. You guys are such nerds. Sheldon... Bazoople. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, she took her bitchy pills again, and then the la there's a laugh track. Everyone has a good time. Oh, my God. They're going to play Lotus, play something for six. We're going to manage right and play a turn three Ugin. Oh. Are you ready? Yep. It's oh, fine. my God. It's all happening. Oh, God. Oh, oh just make it. it. Oh, just put it. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Big tip. Barzoople. <laughs> hey, that's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, well, they just you get to untap with nine mana. Well, they don't know you have an Ugin, but they're well, just like... Well, they still went Lotus, Elspeth, and Lightning Tutor. They just blew three cards on this. I countered it and got six extra yeah, mana, true. my yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. True, 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 true. This is the exact same reasoning people were giving for not liking Metalocalypse. Yeah, but I think Metalocalypse is clever and the jokes are funny. That's the difference. I think Metalocalypse was pretty well written. Also, I saw that band live, even though they're not a real band. They use, like, lighting and stuff, but they actually have people playing the music. It was pretty sick. At uh, Janus Landing. The only thing I don't like about Janus is how packed it is. They call each other dildos for a joke? Uh, they might have done that one time. Yeah, but, like, that's not a... I mean, like... Like, the difference is if I take Metalocalypse, which has no laugh track, it's still funny. Like, the jokes are more apparent. It's more over the top. Whereas, like, Big Bang Theory is trying to be more down-to-earth about everything. Like, they also have, like, chainsaws and, like, people getting killed and, like, cutting hands. Like, it's... Metalocalypse is way over the top Yeah, some in of regards are, to, like, death clock. episodes that are not even, like, funny. They're more, like... 
They're more like just insane. Mm, I think we're just ancestraling here. What does this let us do next time? We get four mana on turn two. That's not super exciting. Yeah, we can save it. Of course, was, I'm not saying... Yeah, but, like, that's that's relevant. Like, I'm not saying it's unexpectedly over the top and, like, it's, it's not obvious. And of course it's obvious. But, like, that means you can get away with more because you're not trying to be a realistic portrayal of a group of nerds living with a woman or a group of nerds, you know, like... BBT makes being a nerd more socially acceptable. That might be true. That's don't fine. Know. Yeah, I don't I don't disagree with that, but I also don't think that necessarily makes it a well-written show. I personally don't like the writing on the show. I don't like the writing on many sitcoms. I don't like the writing on Everybody Loves Raymond. I don't like that. I think it's it's a very pandery writing where it's like pandering to like it's very like low not lowbrow but like it's very obvious jokes like you know Hey, hey, like Raymond will be like, hey, honey, how come, uh, how come you didn't do the dishes again? And she'll be like, if you bring it up again, you'll sleep on the couch. And he'll be like, oh, and then everybody <laughs>, laughs and the laugh track goes. And I'm just like, all right, it's not really funny, but. The clown's name? Uh, the clown's name was Dr. What was it? Dr. It was Dr. What I was do it? cocaine. Oh. Kid, 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 Dr. Roxo. That's it. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, what up, Chris? Chris, welcome over. I hope you open some... Si oh, shit. They got the good ancestral. <laughs> they sure do. Chris, I hope you open some sick-ass rares and mythics and legendaries. I said mythics. In your uh, in your Hearthstone packs, my dude. I'm Dr. Rock, so the rock and roll cocaine clown or something like that. Goo, 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 goo. Goo, 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 goo. Yeah. Michael, I have five on it right now, okay? We get to play Ulamog next turn if they don't do anything. Also, I mean, if you like Big Bang Theory, I mean, you like it, whatever. Yeah, not David, I'm not like, I'm not saying don't like it. I'm not saying it's, it's. you're right, it's not for me. It's just, it's I agree, opinion, it's not for me. Right. It's clearly a very popular show, and I'm not going to be like, everyone who likes it is wrong. Like, you like it, you like it. Oh, this is obnoxious, so they're going like to tap my like. thing down. Well, that's unfortunate that you would do that. Why what? would you do that? Oh, well, no. Why would you do that? Wow, this guy's in the graveyard? I got five legendary for logging in and one gold for the bundle I bought and nine more after that. That's pretty good. Well, I got five on it, so what do you And you crafted a bunch with 13k dust. Not bad. Oh, we missed that. We played a land first. Actually, I'll just play Battlesphere here. And hope they don't Splinter Twin us, I guess. I mean, if they discard this because they have Splinter Twin, then it's just sad. They have to have... I, I don't think they would have discarded Kiki Jiki, though. I also don't... They need a second Mountain. They need Mountain Splinter Twin. Or Red Source, rather. That's not a Red Source. You can kill her own land to get a Red Source. Oh, Dark Petition. For a Red Source. Wasn't there an episode of Metal Office where Dr. Roxo got clean for a while? I thought that was a thing. Oh, God. What is happening right now? Oh, Jesus. We actually started watching Venture Bros. We watched a couple episodes. Venture Bros? Yeah, Venture Bros. <laughs> That's what it sounded like you said. I don't think I want to do this. I think I'll just take it. Does Rick and Morty qualify as nerd stuff? I mean, there's some nerdy jokes in it. I'd say overall, you don't have to be a nerd to enjoy it, though. This is fascinating. Give me a walking ballista. Yeah, Venture Bros is great. Kitty cat on the box. Kitty cat's like box that he can just fit in. Kitty cat likes box that he can just fit in. Kitty cat likes box he can fit in. <laughs> Why are you Russian? Why... <laughs> I was born this way, Michael. <laughs> Maybe it's Maybelline. I have never watched Archer. So I can't say. I've watched very little Archer. I think Rick and Morty is actually extremely clever. 
outside of the fan base, I think their show is extremely well written. Rick and Morty is a show I can't watch because of the fan base. No idea if I like the show, but the rabbit online fans of trying to. The show is very very smart. Well, I mean, I could I could see you this. Yeah, this, I do agree the fan base is bad, but like that shouldn't stop you from enjoying the show because it doesn't. That, that's not the show's fault. It's your. It's actually Michael's fault. Oh wow! This cost. This was one man. I should have just played this. I totally forgot about the stupid discount. I'm terrible at this game. Is that Kitty Cat? Yeah, it's Kitty Cat. My God, everyone's in here. I think Venture Brothers is also an insanely well-written cartoon. Those are some clever dudes. Actually, I think it's going to be much earlier when we play Fallen Order. It's going to be like 1.30 like normal. Okay, we're going to lose this hand. This is the third game. Oh my God, we just drew Cryptic Command. <laughs> so whatever they do, we get to just Cryptic Command it. And I hope, yep, that's not. Let's hope you don't have another thing. They can have spell pierced, spell. I don't know what spells mm -hmm. in the queue. Counter target spell, return of points in Sarah's hand. Um, actually, we'll just. Uh, yeah, of, South Park is great. Not like Rick and Morty because the fan base is not like. Is like not liking Minecraft because of the fan base. You're missing out because of someone uh, someone you Who don't won like. the game? Hmm. Dan Harmon, isn't that guy from NCIS? No. Dan Harmon also wrote Community. If so, if you like Community, you would probably like Rick and Morty. Maybe. Yeah, they're very different. Yeah, they're not the same at all. I, don't know. I just think Rick and Morty is very well written. And yes, their fan base is terrible, but I definitely think you should just give it a shot because it's... Yeah, you really don't have good. to tell anyone you watched it. You can just sit and... I think we can You keep. can never sell a soul. You can just enjoy it. No, I'll never say anything. I've David, actually, if you secretly watch Rick and Morty, I'll never tell. I, you have my word. I've actually watched the first three seasons like twice over. They were so good. What'd you say? I said I've rewatched the first three seasons more than once. Because I have good. yet to finish Freaks and Geeks, but I really, really want to. I have not seen that yet. That's weird that you're still choosing not to watch it just because of the fan. Just because, of, like, because if you're sitting in your room, you're at home. And you're watching a show, the fan base has no effect on you whatsoever. That's weird. Like, it just doesn't affect you. It's completely disconnected from you in that moment. Like, I play League of Legends, and people don't like the community based around that, but I just ignore those people and play the game because I Right, like, like, that's weird to deny yourself. Oh, if you don't have time to, that's, that's fine. That's different, yeah, that's different. Right, but if it's just like, I'm gonna be, I'm, I'll, I'm, just, if it's just stubborn, like, I get, you know, that doesn't make sense. Have you guys watched Gravity Falls? That, doesn't, that sounds familiar, but I know. I have not, but there, I know that there's Easter eggs in Gravity Falls from Rick and Morty. Uh, Gravity Falls is more is more of a kid's show, but I heard it's also very well written. And I, I think it's on Disney+, Plus. but I heard they edited some stuff out of it. Oh, interesting. It's one of those Adventure Time-looking cartoons, apparently. Wow, are they going yeah, off right good. now? Did they metamorphose? What, did they just metamorphose for no value? I don't understand. Okay. I'm probably going to keep both of these. Um, no. Give me that. Give me that Adventure hot dog. Time is my absolute shit. I have not watched too much of Adventure Time, but all the episodes I have seen, like three or four, maybe five of them, I, I really liked. Apparently when you I have these watching. three blue cards in your deck, you do pretty good. Yeah, that's fine. You can put five on it. I mean, the show's got a talking dog. I don't really know. Adventure Time is also great. I think Adventure Time is also a very well-written show. The writing is just good. Like, when I watch a show, I want good writing. Yeah, I should probably get around to watch that. Is it... Does anyone know if it's on... It's got to be on one of our... It's got to be on Many them, streaming right? services. Sure. Yep. So, if they go to if they go to Splinter Twin and we go to counter it and then we get to play Ulamog the next turn, Urgen, that'd be absolutely... It's on Hulu, I think. It's on my DVD shelf, Michael. Well, Chris, if you want to send it to me, just fly to Seattle whenever you want to watch it. Oh, I'll do that. Yeah, that seems... I think I can afford that. It's on my DVD shelf. It's basically like Washington Netflix. You just gotta go over there. Just gotta go to Instead Washington. of them sending you the DVD, you send yourself to Chris. And I can be even more sufficient as I can just... I can, instead of just like watching one episode and going home, I can just stay and watch it all and then come home. Do you even have five on it? They have two cards in hand? Oh, wow. Managerian was pretty good there, but we don't get to cast anything really valuable, unfortunately. Oh, wait. No, we get to go Thran Dynamo with the mana and Time Walk, and then next turn... Oh, Jesus. No, wait. That's not right. No, sir. That ain't right. 
If anyone loves Samurai Jack, the same guy who made it made a new one called Primal on Adult Swim, and it's pure magic. I have not seen Primal yet. I have seen all of Samurai Jack. I freaking love Samurai Jack. next turn. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, we're doing it. So Michael, one, two, you've three, been four, here for five, six, six weeks. Seven. Yep, still on season five. Sorry. <laughs> wow. I did not know Primal was done by the same guy Land. who did Samurai Jack. I'm definitely going to watch it. Okay, then. so one, two, three, four. We can either go upheat. No, we're not upheaving. We're just going to play Ugin and kill this stupid nerd. Okay, we have an Ugin on nine and eight mana. They have four mana and three cards. So I think we're actually okay here. Unless they do something. Mm, yeah, that's fine. A little annoying because our hand's very good, but... Five, six, seven, eight. Our hand? Yeah. Can't we just Cryptic Command bounce it? Well, they can activate in response. What are they going to do? They, they're going to discard their whole hand. That's true. Like, we can go Monolith bounce with Cryptic Command. It forces them to play it again, and then we have Monolith throw in Dynamo for upheaval next turn. That's true. We can also just ultimate this guy next turn. Primal is 100% worth your time. It's pronounced Ugin or Eugene. I like to call him Big, Big, Big Ig. Big, Big, Big Ig. Oh, wow, they didn't even respond to that? Oh, Jesus. Oh, God, they had a family. <laughs> well, I don't want to play Metal Worker here because then we just lose I mean, that. Yeah, don't do that. Plus, All we right. have no other artifacts in our hands, so Metal Worker wouldn't even do anything. I think, we're, I think they're just dead. Yep. Okay. They have died. Wait, gain seven. Put up to seven permanents from your hand on the battlefield. Do we do that first? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We can we can six and float five. Or we can just play Ulamog, I guess. I guess we'll just play Ulamog, right? And just nug two two his red lands or two his black lands. Probably red because he wins with red, right? Well, I'm going to get rid of this and the Spire Bluff because those are the things I care about. And I guess we'll play a land and pass. Sure. Okay, this just makes up people nuts, right? Oh, we don't have up people anymore. But we have Ulamog, so I guess... And they're dead to you, Gene, I think we just 3 0'd. So thank you guys for watching. Slam those likes and subscribe and check me out on patreon.com slash franklapoor. Check me out on manatraders.com. You can find the link and promo code in the description. That's two 3 0's back to back. Boy, I like this cube way more than the last one. Let's open this treasure chest again. Oh, we got a scrambled dinosaur? That's my new avatar right there. And then we got a cemetery puka. Puka puka. Are you okay? Puka puka. Is that funny to you? Let me see that scrambled boy. Where is it? These are in weird order. What's the order here? Wow, there's a lot of cool shit in here that I didn't know about. Look at this dog. This orangutan. I just want my dinosaur. How do I find it? There's a kitty cat? Go too fast for my eyes. Oh, it's a purple dude, so I was looking for the purple dudes. Is that the top? Jesus, this is a lot of avatars. There's a Ragavan. Oh, there he is. Yeah, save that dude. Oh, yeah. Come on. There he is. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this sweet 3-0 with this mono blue deck. And uh, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching, guys.